the snowman today. So today we're gonna be doing less rolling and more building on this, onto the snowman. And I'm gonna tell you how we made these huge snowballs. So first, you take a bit of snow, you clump it all up together, and you make a snowball. And then you keep adding snow onto it. The best snow for making snowmans is wet snow. That's because it sticks better and it's easier to mold foot and it adds and it acts like glue. Wet snow is snow when um, snow has fallen and then the sun has fallen on it. So it's a bit after the snowfall. So once you make these balls, you try to make them as big as possible and then you start rolling to make them circular and rounder. Like you start rolling, let me show you. You start rolling your ball over into the snow and you add some pressure onto it so that the snow sticks on and then you pat it and then you go over. To make it easier for it to be rolled, you use a shovel and make the snow softer. So when you roll your snowball, it's easier and that the snow sticks to the snow. Once you have your three balls, you just assemble it and put stuff on and you're done with this and you're done with the snow. So you just put a carriage and some rocks for like the buttons and then some rocks again for the eyes and then some sticks for the hands. And then you'll have a complete snowman. And while making it, remember if you're like putting it on, like let's say I'm putting it this on top of here, then let me show you. I put it on, right? It's good and sturdy. But to make it more sturdier, I take some more snow and put it like on top to make it stick like glue so it's more structurally good and perfect. And we'll show you after the snowman is all done. three snowballs. The big one is the base, this one is the middle, and this one is the head. We made them one slightly smaller than each other so they look perfectly aligned. This is the base, this is the middle one, so if we lift this up, it's quite heavy. And then we put it on top of here. Now it's not going to stay like this forever, so we press it a bit down. And we take some snow, and what snow is like glue? You put it in, and then you make it stronger, so it's structurally stronger. So I'm just gonna put some snow on the sides to make it sturdy. Okay, and don't forget the back side. Although no one's gonna see it, it's gonna make it sturdy. And make sure to smooth it out so it looks good as well. And once you're making these um these snowballs, you have to also smooth them out a bit. And then you pat it slowly, but with some pressure. And make sure the base is flat when placing when placing your snowballs. So stomp on it a bit and then I'm gonna put the head, the last one. On the top. It would be better if it Yeah, that looks good. So now we take some more wet snow glue and we make it structurally strong. Unless you want to do that. And after this, we're going to have some accessories to decorate. 
feet are still there. So, our accessories. Let's start with those. I'm gonna take off my gloves. And one of the key things for a hand is the nose. And that's why we use a carrot. So to put the nose in, you need a hole inside here. So we need to, I'm using a rock to have a hole in here to put the carrot. Okay, and then we take some wet snow again. And then we secure it in place. We need the hole to be a bit bigger, it's not fitting in. Carve a hole. So now that we got a big enough hole, we take the carrot and put it in. And we take some more snow, put it back in, same thing. I made the nose point a bit up. Put some more snow, crumble it. Okay, there, we got our nose. Now, we need the eyes. And we decided to use rocks for eyes. And, and come on. Then, the eyes. Well, let's see which two rocks fit together best. Will you help me? Which rocks? These two. These two? Okay, let's fit. These two then? Yes. Okay. Here, here's the rest. Okay, put the eyes in. You have the first eye. And then the second. Surprise no man then. And we have some other accessories, including a scarf and a hat. Let's <laughs> stick it in better. Can you hold this for a second? Yes. Thank you. Ooh, that was rough. Okay, take some extra snow. Add it in. This one. 11 minutes later. So we added in the rest of the decorations. Now and we're, we're gonna, gonna put in the hands. And we're gonna put in the hands. We're gonna carve a hole so I can put it in. Okay, got a hole. I'm gonna place it in. And then use the rest of snow. Place it in here. The hand is the toughest part, so you have to get it right. I'm going to use more of... You I'm can gonna use stick to hold. So we're going to make the decorations and the hands. So we made some of them and we made yeah, pretty much all of them except for the arms and the scarf. Of course, all these accessories are optional. But to put the hands is the toughest, so yeah, you have to carve a hole in first. So use a good strong stick or something to carve a hole. And place your arm in. And use rest over snow to put and make it secure. And last but not least, we have the scarf, the iconic snowman scarf. And we chose red because it stands out as a contrast onto the white snow. And there's many ways you can wrap a scarf. So you can like leave it like this or put it 
get this over. Ooh, I got a crazy cone with it. And there's a lot of decorations that you can do with it. And let me make sure that I don't cover them out. And yep, that's it. That's our snowman. That's how you make a snowman. This is my brother. 